Hello and welcome then to the second part of uh, of these classes on uh, the UK media today, or rather the UK press today. Uh, and I was just talking about the the mid market dailies, and here we have a last uh, uh, examples of from the Daily Mail, uh, obviously very uh, strongly uh, uh, in favour of the monarchy, uh, part of that. Um, the conservative identity uh, of sections of the British population. Uh, and then you see uh, the, on the right there, uh, a front page of the Daily Mail, social websites harm a child's brain. So uh, apart from the um, spectacular side, which uh, links it in some ways to the way of communicating of tabloids, uh, you can see the, the sort of message that you might expect uh, in a socially conservative uh, uh, newspaper where uh, things which are uh, new and uh, which uh, appear to uh, belong to the younger generations are necessarily in some way suspect or in some way uh, dangerous. I'm now going to move on then to the, the quality papers, and I very much insist on the uh, inverted commas because it doesn't mean that everything they, uh, they print is good. Uh, and also it must be remembered that uh, many people buy the tabloids for the sport or because they're funnier and more fun or because the articles are shorter and you, if you only have time to read it on the bus, that might be uh, what is better for you. Uh, but in any case, here you have the uh, so-called quality papers uh, and their, uh, their sales in 2018. Uh, and you can see then uh, at the, uh, the, the biggest of the quality papers, the Times, 427,000. Uh, and uh, losing 5% uh, since the previous year. That's the, the meaning of the percentage uh, um, figures uh, 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 at the end. The I, 244,000. Uh, and temp losing 10% in a year. Uh, I will explain a little bit about the I in a moment. It's a spin-off of The Independent. The Independent is a newspaper which also produces a smaller version, the I, uh, which is cheaper, uh, which doesn't take as long to read, but it is the same newspaper. In fact, it's like the best of The Independent. You have the uh, Financial Times with 175,000 uh, uh, copies uh, in 2018, going down slowly. Uh, and I will talk about the Financial Times in a moment, which is not only about finance. And finally, The Guardian, then 135,000. Uh, now, of course, these are sales on paper uh, and doesn't, don't really permit you to um, fully understand the influence of a particular newspaper because it may be that their website is very success successful, attracts a lot of readers and also a lot of advertising uh, revenue. A couple of uh, front pages here, first of all, from the Times there, very recent one here. Uh, then you can see record rate of infection puts Britain on, on red alert. Uh, nevertheless, if you compare the Times, which is the paper of reference, as they say, for Britain, and the paper of reference for France Le Monde, you first of all notice that it, it is a little bit more populist, if you like, because you have the uh, large, uh, um, uh, large color photographs of famous people on the front page. Um, and also on the front page, then a, a, a couple of slightly more spectacular uh, features there. Uh, first of all, an autumn collection of coats. Uh, yeah, so a sort of fashion side of it. Uh, and then how the super rich do schooling. So there's a, a kind of, you know, uh, uh, inside story on what really rich people are like. Uh, on, on, uh, at the bottom right, you see a front page from the Financial Times. Now, the Financial Times is the newspaper of business. That is the newspaper which includes every day the latest stock market prices, how much are your investments worth, uh, but also has uh, quite a wide uh, area of uh, interest. And you can see that advertised on this front page, you have Iran and the bombs, so about uh, Iranian nuclear weapons uh, and, and uh, uh, the some other... Uh, question there, which I can't actually quite quite find. Also, color color pictures on the front page. Yeah, there's uh, uh, another thing there. A couple more there from the Times. Uh, so you can see that there is a mix of uh, really quite serious things. Teenagers targeted by Russian trolls. Election poll points to Lan L London landslide, Johnson landslide. But also large pictures, large color pictures, and also a lifestyle, middle class lifestyle uh, element to it. That you have so that you have some recipes, and also the awesome walk guide. You're the most beautiful routes to walk on uh, in, in 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 the autumn. So these are uh, these are. Uh, um, the sort of things that you'll find in, in the Times. Uh, 
Uh, we have two more uh, uh, quality papers here in the wider sense. The Daily Telegraph. Now, the Daily Telegraph is the most conservative of the quality papers. That's, that's just a, uh, uh, a front page from the uh, 2012 uh, uh, Olympics. The Daily Telegraph is really uh, pretty... Um, uh, pretty conservative uh, stuff. And there you have another uh, example of the Financial Times. Brussels serves notice of bleak no deal Brexit for UK industry. So, very, very, and underneath, yeah, um, uh, the Winter Olympics and, uh, 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 and so on. So, very much uh, business orientated, although they will go on to uh, other, other questions. Another one there from the Financial Times. This is actually this week's uh, Financial Times. So, let's say this week's, I mean, one day this week's because it's a daily. Uh, and here, so here you have an opinion and peace austerity is not in a inevitable to restore public public finances to health says the international monetary fund uh, so reflections on international econ economics and they're the opinion that although of course the covid uh, pandemic has caused tremendous damage to uh, the different economies around the world the imf is saying that it will be possible to recover without simply cutting education cutting health uh, and going for uh, austerity uh, underneath them very much business news uh, somebody quit as the auditor of a particular business group the uh, most left wing of the quality newspapers is The Guardian, and uh, it's also one which uh, um, is uh, good for you to read because it's free on the web. Uh, and here you have a couple of front pages, fairly recent front pages from uh, The Guardian. On the left, you have then uh, before the elections uh, with Jeremy Corbyn and the left wing uh, Labour, Labour leader. Uh, Corbyn urges voters to deliver shock to the establishment. So you can see here, uh, first of all, you can see it's a quality paper because it's relatively uh, neutral. It doesn't say, you know, Corbyn has the solution and it doesn't say Corbyn is a danger. It's Corbyn, you know, it, so it put forward Corbyn perhaps in a rather uh, sympathetic manner, but not in a, in a, in a sort of... Uh, um, Yahoo manner that the uh, tabloids go go, uh, go for, and also the the cultural side there, life after Game of Thrones. Uh, on the on the bottom right, you have uh, one of the uh, uh, front pages from this week: uh, hopes of COVID va vaccine rise. Uh, I'm not absolutely sure it's from this week. In any case, from this year, hopes of COVID vaccine rise after UK study hailed as, bre as breakthrough. So fairly factual, uh, much less spectacular. But again, even the quality newspapers now, it's big colour uh, pictures uh, on the on the front page. And I'm not sure what the who this uh, this lady is here. Oh, it's it's uh, some actor uh, or other. Uh, no, this one really is from uh, the, from this week. Universities are urged to drop all face-to-face -face teaching. Yes, so uh, here then um, questions of the of COVID uh, and so on. And again, the lifestyle stuff: how to make different kinds of bread. We we know we're talking to the middle class here. Um, the, uh, uh, and nevertheless, they might not all be rich because you have the thirty best budget beauty buys. Yes, so uh, quite quite an interesting uh, uh, mix there. Uh, the Independent, then, is the, the mother paper of I, uh, and it's the other fairly left-wing. I don't want to exaggerate. These are not radical left-wing newspapers by a long way, but they they are around where Liberation uh, places itself in France. A lot of their uh, readers are uh, teachers or in intellectual professions. Uh, a lot of them are students uh, and so on. So there you have uh, on the left, you can see, uh, first of all, a very negative photograph of, of Donald Trump. So you can see where their sympathies lie. And underneath then a, a, an article of social criti criticism saying half of teachers in Britain are buying essentials for their pupils, that they are the pupils who are coming to school without uh, things which they absolutely need, pens, paper and so on. And the teachers are using their own money to buy these things. And one of this week's on the other side, contacts aren't traced in a third of confirmed cases. So criticising the test and trace uh, system that has been made, uh, set up by the uh, Conservative government. So <coughs> not difficult then to guess at the rather left wing orientation of this, uh, this uh, quality newspaper, The Independent.
Uh, here is its baby, the I. So the I is the best of the independent. Comes out every day. It's shorter. It's easier to hold. Uh, it doesn't have as, uh, 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 as many articles in it, but it is the same uh, newspaper, the same uh, uh, journalists. And so uh, there you have uh, This is actually today's tougher lockdown by the end of the week. Uh, similar news in Britain than in France then. Things not going as well as everybody had hoped uh, uh, in, the, in the pandemic. And, and so more things are going to be uh, 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 in, impossible to do for a while. Now, uh, I mentioned already that the British do read an, an enormous number of daily newspapers, whether it is the national newspapers in the morning or the regional newspapers in the evening. Uh, uh, and the, the, one of the results is that the British read far fewer of the weekly magazines. The weekly magazines in France, where Le Point, L'Express, Le Nouvel Observateur, are relatively successful when you talk about numbers, even on paper. Uh, and of course, the websites or various forms of uh, internet subscription, which are possible. Uh, whereas in Britain, they are not so big. Never, nevertheless, there are a number which are important. The first one here you see is The Economist, which is based uh, in Britain, uh, but is an international magazine, a rather unusual magazine, uh, very much conservative, but very modernist. One of the rather unusual things about The Economist is that none of the articles are signed. It's a tradition in The Economist that none of the articles are signed. Uh, and although it's a very conservative uh, 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 magazine, it's probably the best written uh, magazine uh, in the British press and perhaps even in the international press. It's extremely well written and, or, or, and can be uh, rather difficult, very chirpy, very, po very poetic. Uh, and you can see that they uh, take out they take up a whole wide range of subjects. Now, those are very political, the ones on the on the left one, Britain after Brexit, Trump's peace plan, private markets, puberty blockers and so on, uh, and uh, pollution. So there are a lot of very serious things. But you will also find in The Economist uh, uh, articles about science, articles about art, articles about culture, articles about uh, uh, popular music even. But every time, extremely well researched, extremely well written, even though the, uh, the general um, focus is more uh, conservative. Uh, Private Eye uh, is a humorous uh, uh, magazine that comes out uh, every week in Britain. Now, humorous uh, uh, magazines are always very much a, a national uh, tradition, uh, and so you can't really compare them. Uh, so you can really compare Private Eye with Le Kenna uh, But if you were to compare it, you'd have to say that Private Eye is considerably more uh, conservative than Le Kenna Hoshine. But it, it does uh, share some traditions, for example, uh, if you find some sort of scandal in government that people haven't heard about, then uh, the the tradition in France is to send it to the Canal Hoshine and in Britain to send it to, to Private Eye. So I have a couple of examples here. First of all, on the left, uh, uh, a sarcastic view about um, uh, Brexit, that because of Brexit, Brexit, according to this drawing, everything is perfect. Um, but uh, of course, they're being uh, uh, ironic. And on the other side, uh, 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 a um, sarcastic reaction to the accusation that some people launched that Jeremy Corbyn, the left wing leader of the Labour Party until last year, was actually a spy. <coughs> and so they ha have this amusing picture with 007 on one side and oh, oh, Jeremy Corbyn on the, on the, on the other side, who obviously uh, looks uh, much um, less uh, elegant. Um, hello, uh, then. Uh, so these are uh, weekly magazines which are uh, less serious in their uh, intent. Hello, of course, with a huge amount of information uh, about different aspects of the royal, of the royal family. Uh, and uh, GQ for uh, people in style with David Beckham there, I think, on the front page uh, and a whole series of um, um, uh, articles about uh, about fashion get the coolest shoes on the planet if you're if you're uh, the most important thing to you is to get the coolest shoes on the planet gq is the magazine you need to be reading on the political side there are a, a certain number of weekly uh, newspapers uh, on uh, in radical politics uh, this is one of the better known it's red pepper uh, 
Uh, and so red pepper is not attached to any particular uh, organization, but you would expect it to be uh, uh, appreciated by people who are in the Labour Party, in particular on the left of the Labour Party, or perhaps also in the Green Party or, uh, or, or, or elsewhere. So you can see there uh, Gary Young writing about identity today. So very political questions, the importance of identity. Um, Nina Power, Terry Eagleton, uh, and uh, and and Miller, Miller, and a, an article about the millibands, uh, and you can see then a combative front page: fight the cuts, contre l'austérité, uh, and focus on on feminism. So all about uh, uh, <coughs> a view of politics which is very much aimed around fighting back and. Uh, campaigning uh, and you can see then an extremely positive uh, front page about Jeremy Corbyn uh, on the right with with simply the word hope um, uh, so there's an interesting piece there that's red pepper uh, this is a a weekly uh, magazine that you could buy in in bookshops and, and in, in news agents uh, another uh, weekly uh, newspaper that you probably would not buy the news agent, but you might buy from somebody who was selling it outside the supermarket on a Saturday morning. Uh, this is a uh, radical left, uh, uh, revolutionary left uh, newspaper socialist worker. And you can see there two uh, front pages on the right. Tories want to divide, uh, divide us, fight for migrant rights. So very much built around campaigning. A Marxist newspaper, and this week's is the one on the left there uh, with uh, Boris Johnson disguised as a clown, and they play on words, tears of a clown, because the, the Prime Minister of Britain has just announced that uh, different parts of England and Britain, yeah, different parts of England will be at different tiers uh, of, uh, it's just like you have in France, you have the zone uh, uh, écarlate, uh, the and the zone rouge and, and, so, uh, and so on and so forth, this kind of thing. But the uh, socialist worker is, is marking them and saying it's not the solution. And so these are the tears of a clown. And although it's spelt differently, it's the same sound as the tears you have when you cry. And it gives a series of reasons there. The new rules are too late to stop the virus spread. Workers are being abandoned to poverty and unemployment because a huge number of jobs have been lost. Uh, the test and trace system is not working because it is run by private companies, they are saying, uh, and then unsafe universities, schools. So very much a combative um, uh, approach to uh, politics there. Uh, on the less combative and more debating side, you have a weekly like New Statesman. And even if you look at the, the title, you can see that it's a, a different uh, uh, approach. A statesman is somebody who uh, succeeds uh, in politics because of their intelligence and their way of thinking about society. Uh, whereas um, for, uh, the, uh, for our previous uh, 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 newspaper, it's more about organizing people to fight back as a mass. Uh, so here we have a couple of front pages. First of all, on the right, everybody, this is week, this week's, I think, uh, everybody talking, of course, about, uh, about Trump and the election in America, although there's a British newspaper, and the, the, the uh, uh, headline then, can Joe Biden save America? The battle to end the Trump era. So very much a left-wing, uh, establishment left-wing, but never less the left-wing view of the world that not only uh, is Trump not the right candidate, uh, but, uh, but Trump has uh, brought in an era uh, which is threatening America. Uh, on, on the other front page, a, a, uh, uh, a front page about women's rights uh, and a particular question, why are so many successful women childless? Uh, so quite a long article uh, examining what happens to women and how are the uh, when you have moved away the most obvious uh, discrimination, why are there things left where uh, men can get to the top even though they have children? And quite often uh, at the very top, uh, you'll find women who have, have had to abandon the idea of having a family if they also wanted to get to the top of their profession. A certain number of newspapers also aim at particular ethnic or other groups uh, within Britain. And, and the most uh, well known of these is no doubt The Voice, which is the, the voice of Black Britain, or that's how it, how it likes to say, uh, to see itself in any case. So, so this is a, a particular uh, newspaper for, for Black people in Britain. And you can see the different things that they have put forward here. Um, black History Month is more important than ever, they say. Uh, uh, I don't know how long this has existed Existed, but certainly it's become more popular over the last 10 years. Every year there is one month which is nominated as Black History Month, and this allows um, 
uh, institutions such as museums or libraries or schools or universities to make a special effort to uh, teach and explore inclusive history where black people uh, have a have a, a, a voice there uh, and also as their as their main uh, front page this is from a couple of years ago and I already mentioned to you this uh, this is the University of Glasgow uh, uh, recognizing the fact that it had profited from slavery and they mentioned there the figure of 200 million pounds and that they launch a reparative justice initiative and if I remember correctly that involved finding money for uh, black students uh, who have difficulty uh, uh, doing a doctorate to, to do one. Uh, on the other side, you have a, another uh, 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 British newspaper. This is not uh, a newspaper published in Poland. This is a, <coughs> a newspaper published in Britain, Kultura, but it is for Polish people living in Britain. And I think even although things have got much more complicated with the Brexit, there's still a large number of people of, uh, of um, Polish origin uh, living in Britain now. Uh, at one point, this was over a million. Uh, it's probably gone down, but uh, the, 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 the newspaper, in fact, I'm not even sure that this newspaper still exists, but this was one of the, uh, one of the uh, important publications. And the last two, and we're going to finish there, uh, are Irish World, which is for Irish people living in Britain. And again, this is not, uh, of course, Irish people living in Britain can read Irish newspapers from Dublin. But this is a particular one for Irish people living in, in, living in Britain. Uh, and uh, uh, that has been important. And there's been a whole series of Irish identities preserved in Britain. You, you can you, you, you hear people saying, oh, yes, he is Manchester Irish or she is Liverpool Irish. Uh, they may never have lived in Ireland, but it's an, it's an identity. Uh, and there you have, uh, so a very recent thing, it's not yet safe enough to end quarantine for visitors to Ireland from the UK. Uh, and then finally, on the on the left there, uh, you have the Jewish Chronic Chronicle. Now, the Jewish Chronicle, I, I think, is the oldest uh, Jewish newspaper uh, in the world. It's been published in London for hundreds of years, uh, and uh, different uh, questions uh, of interest to Jewish people um, are uh, are are affected there, are, are, are dealt with uh, in, this, in this magazine. So that was meant to be then a way of uh, uh, reminding you of the, the present landscape of the British press, partly so that you can identify them if they are mentioned uh, uh, in the exam. And also, it, uh, also more in general, you know, that uh, uh, allows you to build your um, uh, British media culture. Almost all of these have a website. Um, probably all of these have a website uh, and uh, it can be quite useful to go and have a look around to uh, to get a feeling of what they're trying to do uh, with their publication. Uh, that was slightly shorter than the other one, but that's, uh, that's all I have to say about that. And so I'm going to stop there. That was the end of the second chapter dealing with the United Kingdom press today. <laughs>